Everybody, it is, what day is it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday, and usually I don't vlog in the middle of the week, but I just want to say a little bit about Edmonton and their festivals in the summer. This is one place, if you want to go week after week after week after week to something, there's always something going on. It starts with a children's festival mid-June, or beginning of June, end of May, and then it goes to the Jazz, International Jazz City Festival, which is on right now, and then this will take us to Taste of Edmonton and Klondike Days. I think I'm missing something in there. Fringe. The Fringe is after. As soon as that's over, it is the Fringe Festival, and then as soon as that is over, it's the Folk Festival. And that takes you right to the end of the summer. So tonight, my sister called me. One of her friends works with Jazz City. And she had an extra ticket to see Bobby McFerrin. So I'm going to see Bobby McFerrin. And Richard is so kindly giving me a ride. So, um, yeah, it should be fun. We're going to eat supper. It's We're going early because Richard has to go out later. So he's dropping us off early, and then we're going to eat supper from one of the food trucks downtown, which should be fun. So we're downtown-ish. Not really. We've got to pass over 9th Did we pass over 9th Street? I did. I thought that was... Well, I consider downtown all the way to Oh, yeah, that's true. She would know. <laughs> Hi. Can Welcome. I don't even know if I have you. Yes, Thanks I do. Thanks for coming. Mickey said she was going to be wearing a summer dress ethnic print. People, does that look like the ethnic? Yes, print? it's got the ethnic Indian sequence. Sequence, and it's t-shirt dots. Okay. dots. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. We were saying that. If Bobby McFerrin were coming to Edmonton, just exclusively Bobby McFerrin at the Windspear, I'd have on different clothes. Like I would probably wear a little bit more semi-formal and heels. But today I'm in flats. So Isn't make, it about comfort? Yes, but I'm saying, I just said, if it was just Bobby McFerrin, you know what I mean? Not Jazz City. I'd wear different clothes. You know what I mean? Like you're not you just wearing. Fine. Oh, I know, but I'm saying, <laughs> generally speaking, if oh, forget it. She was on cue with me before, and when I repeated it, I lost her. But tell us why you're wearing heels, Mickey. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I, was, I was listening to a guy, his doctor, because her boyfriend's short and he's I not coming, like, so she can wear heels. I was listening heels. to this doctor today. That's where I work, Monica. Where? Canada. Yes, oh. Right there? Yeah. Oh. On the 15th. Wouldn't have me working up there. I'm too scared. <laughs> so where do we go? Keep um, going? Keep going straight. Okay. You can make a left like you're going to the library. Okay. So we're going to eat at Brazilian Pampas. This is one of the best restaurants in uh, It's just me. I kind of know. Oh. They're three. Are they 3D? Oh, it's a Mac. Oh. So what do they call open up like a cart? That's very neat. These are 3D cards. So it closes up and it's look at some of those ones like this one. So I just got me a lemonade. I don't like ice cream. Oh. Do you want ice cream? Well, get one. Or get a frozen yogurt. Yeah, I used it as fried, but she made a small one. And they make them, if you want, with Splenda for people that are diabetic. But I'm like, I don't want these. These, the, no, the lemon. These, these lemonade. Yeah. And they make little ones. So if you don't want the sugar, they'll do it with Splenda, which is way better.
plays piano. <laughs> Look at her. Go, Mickey, go. And my brother, you know, Brett Miles. He just, he's part of Jazz City. They just played at the <laughs> Sir Winston Churchill Park this afternoon, his band. And they no. rocked it. <laughs> Very lovely show. You've been documenting now. <laughs> Hi. Good evening, good evening. What did you get? I got a Cosmopolitan. Right? And we can take our drinks into the theater. I got Bailey's on ice because I'm a nerdlinger. Okay, so here we go. We just saw the show, and right beside the building, see this handsome guy here? That's, That's my daddy. daddy. That's our dad. Hi, Daddy. Wasn't he a handsome young devil? His picture's on the, this wall. Oh, there's Johnny Bright, too. Oh, Johnny and Normie and Jackie. There they are. Yes, so that's our dad. Oh, 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 oh. CFL greets. Sure were. So he's always watching us, never giving us a break. We can't go anywhere. So what'd you think of the show, Mickey? Um, I it. was good. I thought it would be pretty much what it was. Yes. Right? There my was conclusion chock full of uh, yes bobby <laughs> his daughter was really good she sang with him and his musicians they had each one of them you know played you know how they feature this is my drummer this is my their jam but their songs were all beautiful classical which was so unusual oh look at sister friend playing that piano get it girl <laughs> right there. You see her? Yeah. Oh, honey, she is playing it. Let's go see. So we had a really great time at the concert, and it is now 10.16, and it's still not dark. It's so weird. In the wintertime, this would be like 3 p.m., and it would be already turning like this. We get the shortest days in the winter, but such lovely long days in the summertime. And it's actually cloudy outside. Look. Richard says it's going to rain tomorrow. So I just thought I'd pop in a little midweek vlog. You know how Mickey and I went to see Bobby McFerrin last night? Well, tonight, surprise, Richard has no clue we're going to see John Legend. And he thinks, of, he knows I really wanted to go, and up until this morning, there were no tickets available. But our radio station released some seats, and we found out in the nick of time, and I got tickets for us to go. And he's just going to freak out because he loves um, John Legend. He knows I would never go to two concerts back to back ever. So this is going to be good. So I'm just putting on my makeup now. It's like about 4.30. But I, you know me, I have to do things early. So I'm going to do my eyes. Can you guys close one eye? See? My friend showed me that in high school. Anyway, let's finish up curling up my hair and putting on my makeup. Okay, makeup's on, and I'll touch it up, and like I don't ever comb my curls out, like I just bump it with the curling iron and leave it, because it'll just go straight. So, yeah, I'll touch up in a couple hours, but Richard still does not know. I think it's so funny, funny. But our anniversary is on the 30th, and so this is my anniversary gift to him. If I, not sure if I mentioned that before, but anyway, that's what it is. Hi all, so we are just on our way. Where are we going, Richard? I don't know, but we're going again. <laughs> he has no clue at all, but you guys all know. <laughs> he hasn't got a clue, not a clue. Do you have any idea? None. I just tell, told him, aim in the same direction you aimed last night. That's all he's got to do. Then, then we're going to see uh same show then? Uh, no, why would I go see the same show? Well, or some, something similar to it then. Are we going to a show? Mm, no. Yeah, that's where we're going. Same place, same direction. That's, that gives me a clue. 
that's a clue that doesn't mean that's what we're doing <laughs> and when I said in the same direction I meant by Mickey's house go by Mickey's house that's what I meant I said exact same direction go like you're going to Mickey's house exactly like that okay that's what I meant oh, that. well I said exact same direction the collar on this dress is so big, but yet the dress is totally sleeveless. It's like kind of cute, but kind of weird at the same time. You're hot and cold at the same time. So I have this little cardigan that I'm wearing with it. And I changed my nail color again three days in a row. First it was blue, then it was green and brown for last night, and now it's silver. That's why they should have artificial nails. They do. Yeah. But I like changing my own Different nails. Different colors. They do. Just slap them on. But those ones take way longer to do. Like those, um, what are those nails? What are they called? I never can think of the name. Jelly. Ugh, I can't think of the name. But anyway, you guys know the nails. They take forever to put on to me. So when I'm trying to switch nail <coughs> polishes really, and you don't want to use those kind of nails if you're going to change your polish all the time because it's a waste of money. Because you just throw in the garbage. But when you have tons of bottles of polish, who cares about changing your nail color? Richard has a cold. He's sick ish. Not really, but you know, getting there. But not too sick to come. Where are we going? <laughs> I've been bugging him all day. He better, better like this. There's Mickey. She looks really cute today. Oh, thank you, sister. You're welcome. But perfume? Day yeah. two. Day night. Day oh, it smells, you smell pretty. Oh, thanks. It's, um... He never said that about me. Oh, you don't have the same kind of perfume? This is Joe Malone I'm wearing. Oh. Pear and Frasia. I've smelled yours before. Um, it smells like Clinique. Oh, it's an oil. No, like it's an... not an oil, but it smells sort of like Yeah, I know exactly. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's pretty. Remember this sign from yesterday? Well, we saw him and oh my god, it's, this is still the hubbub and it's been over for a while. I don't think anyone wants to go home. Uh, uh, my legs are... Um, an unbelievable, magical experience. Yeah, an ethereal because experience. the angels made this happen. They did. And the angels. it was sold out, okay, at 7.30 this morning. It was sold out. We got tickets in the third row and in the first balcony where the queen sits. You I mean, see the seriously. So, Richard, how did you like your anniversary gift? It was wonderful. What Surprise did, and a half. Did you love John Legend? He was pretty good. He pretty was, good? He was pretty good. He was... He could play the piano. Oh, you know, my and, God! And he yeah, it was good. He when was, he sang Bridge Over Troubled Water and he that was took really good. it to church, Richard had to almost hold me down. I was ready to... I don't know what happened to me. I could feel it. Like, I could... I don't know what happened. I could feel the piano in my soul. I could just feel it. I loved all the oh. ones where he had a singing. Yeah. Yes, uh, except Richard didn't. He last, wanted everyone to shut the up. The last song, <laughs> I wanted him to sing it. He did. And he did. Oh, it's so great. So we just dropped Mickey off, and all she kept saying was extraordinary, even as she walked up the sidewalk to her place. But you know, my comment on this it is such a privilege to be able to have seen John Legend in the Windspear Theater. Those of you that don't live in Edmonton, the Windspear Theater was built. The acoustics were to, um, it's almost got perfect acoustics. It's one of the places in the world where the acoustics are unbelievable. And they've got some kind of, a, I don't know how many, that organ, pipe organ in the back. Did you see it? It's beautiful. So anyone who sings or plays an instrument in there, the sound is going to be perfect. 
So to hear John Legend in an intimate theater like that, without any extraneous drums or synthesizers or dancers or, you know what I mean? Just pure, pure raw talent, almost unplugged other than four strings and one guitar player. It was remarkable. It beautiful. Like, I can't even express it. It was so, so wonderful. So we thoroughly enjoyed it. Wonder what Richard's going to get me for my anniversary, for our anniversary now. He's got a lot to live up to. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's well, so good. Really. Yes, you do. Really. So I'm just in the car, actually, I'm listening to John Legend CD that we bought. Um, but I um, I wanted to tell, explain something to you because Mickey said in the vlog, if it wasn't for the angels and all of that, well, I have, I'll show you when I go home tonight, I'll take a, a little clip um, and show you what it is. But my friend Judy, the one that did Soothing the Soul with me, she sent me an email and she asked me, if uh, she said I was one of her zany friends that would probably do this, and she's right, um, because I think who can't use a little help from angels, right? So you invite these angels into your home. Mine arrived at 10.30 on Sunday night, I believe, and the angels come in and you leave them an envelope with your wishes, one for uh, the world, one for your family, and one for yourself. And then you put in a candle that is to stay lit for the five days they're in your home. But you can use like a battery candle. It doesn't have to be a real candle. So I used um, uh, one of those battery operated candles. And then you put an apple on top of the envelope. And the apple, once the angels leave your home and they go on to three other people that you've chosen, uh, then you eat the apple and it's supposed to have been absorbed with all the nutrients that you need. So my angels came on sat Sunday, like I said, and ever since Sunday, everything that we've been wanting to do or do has been happening. And it's just, we're just laughing. We're like, the angels must have did it because honestly, this concert was sold out and it's been sold out for months. This morning, my sister phones me, she goes, the radio station just released 25 tickets so we needed to book online on the wind spirit we go to the wind spirit they're down like their site is down so she said can you phone them because she was at work so i phoned them like hello wind spirit oh yes we have tickets actually we have the best seats in the house they're like um was on the main floor the very first seat one and two and it's like this sort of overhang that's level with the stage so you if you walk straight out you'd be right on the stage with john legend there's no one in front of you beautiful seats that's where richard and i sat and then mickey sat um in, on the main row on the main floor row three seats one and two i mean come on i mean row b seats one and two so she's in the second row oh my goodness and her boyfriend couldn't go, so Jesse went with her because he's been dying to go. It just worked out for everyone. Everybody that wanted to see John Legend in our group, other than my son Curtis, got to go and got to see him. So it it's just been like a perfect, perfect thing. So, um, yeah, I'll show you the angels as soon as I get home. It's the next morning and I'm so tired. <laughs> Two concerts in a row. Are you kidding me? But they were worth it. But I told you I'd show you my angel setup. So here's my candle. Let's flicker in there. It's one of those, you know, those kind. And some white flowers. And my apple. And my wishes. And that will sit there now for till Friday. And then the, the angels rest and then they go on to three other people. But I certainly am enjoying their presence in my home. I really am. Um, it's really kind of cool. It's a really neat thing. And then when they leave, you eat all the, the eat all. you eat the apple, and all the nutrients are supposed to help your body just like an apple would, you know. So, yeah. So thanks for watching our crazy week and this little extra bonus of vlog. 
because we had so much fun and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So we'll see you on the weekend. Bye. Did you go to the concert? I did go to the concert. And? What did you think? I thought that I wish he would have interacted with the Oh, the crowd more. Yeah. more. And I wish that it was at Rexall so I could get up and actually yes. hear. Yes. But that... I feel like if he was at Rexall, I would have had a blast. Mind you, I think if it was at Rexall, it would have lost because he's Are not... Are you videotaping me really close? No, I never do. Hi, Monica. Nice, nice to meet you. You look nice tonight. I changed into flats. I really like your you outfit. <laughs> Can you spit? Oh, <laughs> did you put those in your purse? Absolutely. Smart girl. At the end of the concert. Oh. Spin. Do a spin so you can get the whole skirt. Okay. I love your skirt. Okay. What are you, like a size zero? I don't think so. You're pretty tiny. Wow. <laughs> Look at her spin. I love your skirt. This is going to be ugly. <laughs> this is before. This, this shit is better before. not end up on something that can okay. identify me. And this no, is after. after. <laughs> I'll edit out your name and everything. No, do not put my name in. Yeah, I'll take it out. Okay.